friends, it's my great honor to uh, address you here in Paris. I would like to thank you for your invitation and especially thank Mrs. Uh, Ravi for a very inspirational speech. My name is Charlotte Spirkland and I'm also from the Conservative Party and I've been serving as a Member of Parliament since January, so this is quite new for me uh, and this has been a, a great start. Coming from Norway, it's easy to take basic human rights for granted. We have them all around us every single day. We have opportunities, or the opportunities that we have in a free and open society can easily be taken for granted. Our democratic political system respects the rights of individuals and our laws and our 200 year old constitution this year allow for all people, women or men, young or old, religious or non-religious, to live freely. As a girl, I have been guaranteed to go to school, to join a political party, to write letters to the newspaper. I can drive a car, even though I can't drive. I can go where I want. I can wear what I want. And maybe most importantly, when I go to sleep at night, I know that I'm safe the next day. These are freedoms that I take completely for granted. And my hope is that everyone in the world should be able to take these freedoms for granted. But the thought of losing them does scare me, especially meeting you, seeing the film, and of course, uh, hearing about your heroes and martyrs. I strongly believe that it is to get them, and as soon as possible. Iran is, of course, no exception. You've been kind enough to invite me here to let me learn more about uh, your country's situation and your people in a completely different way than what the papers do in the West, and I thank you for that. And listening to your stories with your own words has made a big impact on me. It's crystal clear that the international society does have a responsibility to do more than it is doing today. This means that when dealing with the regime in Iran, in Iran, the principles of democracy and human rights always have to be promoted and that the international society can never compromise on any of these values. To conclude, the message that I will take home with me to Norway is that the situation in Iran and in Camp Liberty is unacceptable. More people need to understand this in parliaments around Europe and other places, in governments, and amongst ordinary, normal people. All people need to understand the efforts that you're doing. Uh, and I hope to aid you in spreading the message. I strongly support your cause. I have an enormous respect for your commitment and for your bravery. Thank you.